Alrighty, praise God, praise God. Just got through working out. Praise God, hallelujah. I mean, I've been right. <laughs> I've been doing everything. Um, I lift weights, toning up my body, um, sculpting my body, doing everything. Um, preparing for greatness. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to drop something in your spirit that's going to change your life. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the real. It's going to change your life. Every time somebody asks me to, how I'm doing, preparing for greatness. What you doing, preparing for greatness. You don't hear what I'm saying. Let, let me explain something to you. Everybody that actually did something great in life, they did it before they died. And, and that's why y'all know him now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So every time, it's never too late. I don't want you to ever think it's too late. I don't care what time it is. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what nobody say. I'm sweating and everything because I just got through cycling. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what you even think. You have to understand that you are made for greatness. God got something in you that he's trying to take, bring out of you. But you got to understand that's why the tests and the trials and tribulations come. Because iron sharpens iron. But guess what? It's God that's blowing that, that fresh wind on you. That wisdom on you. That uh, discernment on you. That knowledge on you. That strength on you to keep on going. To keep on pursuing the greatness. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because there are some things that he's put inside of you. You don't just desire what you desire. You don't just want what you want. Oh hallelujah. You don't just know what you know. No, that's God that put that in your spirit. Hallelujah. So harness it. Feed it in the name of Jesus. I've been feeding my spirit. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It don't matter. I feel like I'm unstoppable. I know I'm unstoppable. And what am I doing? Preparing for greatness. Write it in the comments. Every time somebody asks you that what you're doing, how you doing, say I'm preparing for greatness. That's it. Say I'm preparing for greatness. They don't, you don't have to tell them what you're doing. I'm preparing for greatness. I'm telling you what God put in my spirit and I'm just passing it along to you. I feel it in my spirit. Ever since that 21 day fast, that changed lives. That didn't just, it wasn't just a diet. It wasn't just, it was an acceleration. It was the beginning. It was the start. I'm preparing for greatness. So I just got through cycling for about two hours. Now I'm going to go hit them weights. Ain't nobody playing. I'm after something. <laughs> Y'all don't see it in my eyes. You remember the, that eye of the tiger? Uh, that's people my age and older. Uh, y'all don't know about that second wind. Y'all don't know about that eye of the tiger stuff because if y'all did, y'all wouldn't be easily discouraged. And yes, you may have to encourage yourself. You ain't gonna always have a cheerleading team, but guess what? Encourage yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that you stay strong, that you go after what God has put in your spirit. And every time somebody asks you, how you doing? Well, I'm doing great. I'm just preparing for greatness. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. What am I going to do? I'm going to prepare for greatness. God bless y'all. Love you. Apostle Deanna Dixon, real life soldiers for that is who you are. <clears throat> Let's get it.